Viego. Definitely not what I saw coming in this one. And that is a tough pick to play out. How many junglers do we need? Hey, okay. all right. Well, it's just done. You know, it doesn't really have legs to stand on, especially the Viego aspect of this composition. Just have to see how it goes. We jump onto the rift for game number two. He's been the only one to do so, but of course we know that he has an eclectic champion pool and one that kind of spans all of the champions in the game. And uh, some Biffo here towards the top side. Ignore the fact that they're taking damage, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to go away. As, yes, uh, it is something that they're just happy to, uh, to do for the entirety of the game. Doran, you can see, eating up that Fury. We'll get another knock up here. I'm not going to lie. Standing on the blobs. It's going to feel nearly impossible to judge who's like, <laughs> yeah, getting yeah. the trade. 15 1 on it now, and 5 and 1 versus the Varus. Doran. Yeah, another knock up does come on through here as. Okay, left and slingshot the flash out from Doran. And underground once again, Zayas electing not to flash after him for first blood and instead will just keep up that pressure. As he's trading with this act. And I love this act here for T1 for two reasons. One being, of course, the long engage range for those skirmishes we talked about with Viego. And with the early team fights is area. Yeah, a bit of a crash down does come on through there. The chains do lock down Delight. We know that Peanut's in the area. The Ignite ticking down. Now making their way out. Peanut actually deciding to get out of here, and Ona knows exactly what's going on. Ward goes down. Peanut, I believe, is going to spot that, as we can see right there. Another snare going to come on through as Gumiushi down pretty low on the mana as Viper does find a piercing arrow on top of the center. At least one of them for Peanut here. Teleport back from Carrier, and they now Ona know. might have an opportunity. They don't know. Uh, no vision. Yeah, there's the flash forward from Carrier. Viper able to try and get off to the side. Good crash down to try and get him out of there, but there's the permafrost, and Viper will be taken down. Kumiyushi gets the first blood. Yeah, does manage to get the shield as crash down does come on in. And Zayas, he's getting very, very small. Still able to get a decent knock up, but he's going to explode him. And now the Bloblet's coming on forward. Doran, can you take them down in time is the question. Only gets a couple, and now Zayas makes his way back in, but will not have that passive available for the next time. And kind of guarantee the, the sort of healing reduction, but the thing with it oh. is you kind of just wait out the healing reduction before you are on the ground. Oh, this is a little bit dangerous. This Faker is going to get engaged on immediately. Flashes away the Glacial Prison. Going to go wide. There is the lockdown on the Dragon for T1. But Delight gets them on in there. They take down Faker. Empress Divide is massive and has two kills to start off. The Vicaria is not long for the world either. And Harmer Life Esports, they lose a Drake, but they'll take three. Mighty's up this wave. Oh. Might be face checking though as there's the Vault Breaker in. The ulti comes down. Empress Divide is avoided though as Faker able to get that Valkyrie off before the Azir swoops. In. Close call there. <laughs> a very close call. He can't contest top side. Oh, yeah, Doran in possibly a bit of trouble here as there's the Void Rush to come out. Dawning Shadow to keep them alive, but he tunnels his way and he survives. And Doran able to lap up these minions as well. They'll get their turn on this Drake. I'm going to slow play this. They have a Varus who's rotating over. They don't have to hard engage unless it's onto the package list Faker. He's got it on this angle now. Yeah, this is so dangerous. They do manage to take down the second dragon, but they look for the engage. There's the package to live it over the top, but it's Ona that goes down first. Eka will find Faker's special delivery, and it's Onwa that managed to get it on over, and it's a Hextech Drake on top of everything. T1 pretty happy that they're at least able to get the Drake. And he just already looks so tanky at this point. Yeah, no, this is kind of ridiculous. Is Gumiushi going to come on over? Piercing Darkness not going to work out. It's now, let's see whether Zayas is going to survive. He flashes four, gets the head bomb. The Empress Divide is going to throw him against the wall as they focus the turret. The Bolt Breaker is going to get the shield for Peanut. And Zeka, he survives with his shifting sands. Sets up his own turret as well as they take down the Zack. Doran, he survived. His turret had already basically fallen down earlier, and the Rift Herald is going to charge into that inner turret as well. Doran actually having the gusto. Oh, TP coming in. Yeah, TP from Zeka here moves towards his top side. Is now Faker having to deal with it. Conquering Sand's going to come through, and of course there's Peanut. Turns up, that is going to be just the last Sand Soldier auto, and Zeka just collects it. I mean, with Halo Blades here, the early Nashers, three kills to his name now. Already secured Hanwa's first of the game, but there is the Elastic Slingshot. They dive on in, the package down as well, and they take down Zeka, the priority target. Doran looks for the back line and will be able to trade the mid lane in. And there is a great Magnus Storm as well. Viper, the next one that can try and carry this fight as Ona is starting to pop off, but the Piercing Arrow is going to take him down. Say is now just trying to peel as best he can. Peanut, how are you still alive? Almost 
managing to escape as Viper has to flash away. Doran, of course, can just survive for basically forever. He'll make his way out as Viper was kind of baited into this one and will be falling down. Dodges a few abilities and T1 win a team fight. It's just tank diff. It's just tank diff. Both of these tanks, all three of these tanks, rather, running rampant in these fights. The initial kill. But Faker is just so behind in terms of his itemization. He does not match the poke of Zekka, ironically enough. Oh, oh, no. Crash down carrier. Gonna get knocked off and destroyed. They is diving on in there. Doesn't find the stretch arm strong. The kill back does come on in though. And now Oda, he knows how to play the rel. And Prismite does nothing. The Heartbreaker dies over it. And Faker will now get into that back line. And Oda pretty good at the Azir as well. Very nicely done. He'll now just transform into everyone. And the snowball of the team fight is beautiful. T1, they love going to Baron. They're going to do so now. And Kuma is not going to be killed that easily. They do manage to get the flash. That is definitely important. But now the re-engage comes through Doran. He manages to grab it out of thin air. And T1 actually potentially looking towards it themselves. Your expectation was they would go for the dragon on this package. But they're starting the purple worm. Hunter Life Eagles all kind of retreated. Now they have to move in and respond. All right, teleport in. Yeah, Peanut has flash. Looks like they want to just group. Over the wall as Delight. He has an opportunity as well. Peanut gets into the back of the pit. This is dangerous. Has to flash away immediately. Now Doran, he's able to take the front door. And T1 are going to peel away. Faker still with that package up. They want to get that turn and then going to need to do it sometime soon. Now the package is going to be used just to try and round Dor Doran here, but it isn't exactly the most. He actually just decides to go back on top of the package. I don't know about that one. That is going to be Ona getting his first kill of the fight. Takes down the big tank of this one and both flashes from the carries. Peanut doesn't have flash, it'll have vision. All right, Peanut and Delight still here. There's the CC onto the buy. He is very tanky, but the rel is going to go down. Faith is just executed, but I just don't think it's enough to win them this fight. Viper cannot turn up in time. Another teleport Zekka. going to come on in as Zekka. He could be the hero, but full information is there for T1. And they will be able to take down this Baron. Zekka unable to get in there, and he may not be able to keep himself alive. He is. Not enough cooldowns here for T1. I'm trying to attack Harry, but it's going to take so long to kill him. Yeah, this is taking forever, and there is no damage here in this fight. Remember, this is a lot of tanks. Of course, there is Peanut there. They will be able to get through the Sejuani, but they have to invest everything to take him down, and they'll lose an inhibitor for it. They may even lose the base, as the bats have now been started for Hummel IP Sports. Doi Cattle just to stop them, and they'll take the first Nexus turret. There is so much damage under these turrets as well, with the Corky in the center. I don't think that was worth it, Hummel IP. Absolutely not. Threatening that bottom inhibitor, taking it down as Peanut now in trouble. Yeah, Perry just going to interrupt him here as Peanut tries to take the hex gate, but it is not going to work out. He gets himself a big old shield and is just going to be taken out. There is now Ona turning into the vine, looking to try and get a little bit of a re-engage. I think Peanut trying to buy some time makes a bit of sense, but feels like a little bit like he was throwing away his life there. Yeah, I mean, he could have maybe tried to set up for a sandwich, but there's just no control. He's identified early. Oh, God. Oh, Delight taking so much damage here is now T1 pushing down this mid inhibitor turret. That is going to evaporate. And this feels a whole lot cleaner. There is the engage. The elastic switch up. Fantastic by Zayas to make sure they're all CC. The Empress Divide tries to get something done, but it's from the grave for Zekka. And once again, just engaging with reckless abandon is that gorgeous this game. And T1, they will answer back and make this best of five a best of three. And win one against Humble Life for the first time this playoffs. You know, said, and I think a really well-rounded game as well. T1 kind of hitting the mark across the board.